It is said in one description that water, water everywhere, but not a single drop to drink. Well, if projections are true, then Ghana may be heading towards that by 2030. I'm at the point where River Pra enters the sea. How well did the water fall on its way here? Was it treatable at all? Water security, is there any hope for us? So we have some of the community members here. We are in Shama, and on that side, we have the Angola Beach. We have some of the community members here. We'll be speaking to them about how this is affecting their lives. So welcome to GBC News. Thank you. Please, what's your name? My name is Charles. Charles, what are you here? Um, I'm a community member, so we are here because of this um, water program. That's the reason you are here. So how long have you been experiencing this polluted Pra River in your community? Okay, so we can say about um, two to three months ago that we are experiencing this uh, Galamsey activity that has affected the Pra River. So you know, uh, in our area, the only potable water we use is uh, uh, Pra. But nowadays, you can see, because of the Pra, it has become very difficult for us to use this water because the chemicals and the mercury that has affected this uh, pra, we have so many challenges in there. So I can just confirm to you that about two to three months time that we are experiencing these challenges. And if I got you correctly, you say that you use this water for your daily activities. Exactly. So now that the water is polluted, how are you able to manage when it comes to water? How do you get water to sustain your lives? For now, we have no option than to use this water. Because uh, if you come to our community, for example, Angra Beach, Kobobo, Somodo, we have no potable water. Because of the sea, we can't get even boho because of the salty in the water. So we have no option than to use this. So we just affect, uh, fed this water. We have to just put it down for about two or three hours. So if you are starved, uh, you have no option than to use uh, this water. So in our community, we don't have any option than to use this water. You know, because of this, we have uh, affected with many diseases because of the mercury in that water. So we have, uh, we are experiencing uh, body rashes, diarrhea, and so many things uh, in this um, guarantee activity. So you are experiencing body, uh, body rash, diarrhea. So I get the sense that you drink this water. Come again. You drink this water. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Every day. Every day, because you have no water. If um, you can get any potable water, unless we just call the um, those people who sell the sachet water. If they come to your community, that you can just get uh, good water to drink. Apart from that, and you have to understand that this um, trucks they came to our community about month, month, month ago. So, so, so every so they sort of come to your community once a month. Once a month. So within that once a month, if you are not able to buy enough water to which will take care of you and your family yes. for that one month, yes. then you have to resort to this water. Exactly. Because you use for battling, um, use for uh, cooking, everything. I can say everything, drinking, everything. Whether you are a child or no, you have no option. If uh, we come to our community, you can see the, how the uh, students struggling before they can go to school every busy day. So it's a big challenge uh, to the community because of this GRMC activity. And I, a few minutes ago, I saw some children fishing. Yes. So does it mean that you still fish in this polluted water? Yes, because um, our major job is uh, this uh, fishing activity. So if you see the children are fishing in this uh, pra, that's the only uh, pra we have to get some of the fish. Now considering the health implications you are having as in the rashes, diarrhea and everything, are you not scared to continue using this water for your daily activities? Yes, we are scared but we have no option. We have no option. So we call the district assembly um, to come to our aid, especially the head directorate. Also they have to come uh, for checkups every uh, maybe by every month they can come to uh, because of our heart uh, issues they have to come to them so we are just pleading to the district assembly to intervene all this activity and also we are calling the government also to come to our aid because if they didn't put stop to this galaxy activities by a, a, a month's time you can see that many people are dying because of this galaxy activity and how often do you record any deaths related to this do you record deaths related to this as for now no but we are experiencing so much uh, 
uh, many disease uh, in our family members. Okay, yes. thank you so much. Well, okay. that thank was you. Charles. He is a community member in the Shamar district. We'll be speaking to some more people about the impact of the water situation. That's a polluted Pearl River on their lives and the activities daily. So we have another community member here. His name is Gain. We'll be speaking to him about how the polluted water affects his life as a resident in this community. You're welcome, Gain. Thank you, madam. So you, are, you, you live in this community. How long have you lived here? I've been living here since my childhood. Since your childhood? That's how many years ago? Almost 32 years. 32 years. So in the last 32 years since you lived here, has the Pearl River always been like this? It has never been like that, unless uh, recently the there's upscale in the activities of the Galamise that this water has been damaged like to this extent. Mm. And for you, how does it affect how you live in this community? Has it changed how you live in this community? Really, it, 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 it has changed my living here because this is the water I use for my domestic usages. Anything that I do, this is what I use. But nowadays, I've been experiencing skin rashes and everything around me because of the usage that I do. Wow. And these are all as a result of are, using the water yes. for bathing. Yes. And it is really, really affecting us, as a matter of fact. And all the means to rate the authorities to put a stop to this and has proved futile. Especially, we have to call on the District Assembly to at least provide us any other alternative as a source of water so that we, we shall put a stop to using this river pra. But it has not proved successful. So if you say that you've been trying to get to the District Assembly, what exactly have you done? Have you written to them? Have you tried to speak to them, engage them in some conversations? Mm. We've been calling uh, the assemblyman, we've complained to the assembly member, and he's saying that he has been putting forward our issues to the DC and all those concerned. But yes, sir, nothing has been done about it. Just recently, we went to the DC himself, we complained to him, and he's saying that things are in place. He assured us that we should exercise a bit patience. They are going to provide us something better of which we shall put a stop to the usage of the Pearl River. Now he said you should exercise some patience as people living in this community, considering how polluted the water is, how milky it is. Are you ready to exercise that patience until they feel they are able to resolve your issues mm. on this polluted water? We are not ready to exercise that because we buy alum to treat the water and at times after the treatment you will still see the filthy state of the water so it means there's nothing good there's nothing good unless we have other other alternative like providing us other source of water of which our heart will become well thank you so much again for your thoughts thank you so much for joining us i'm much pleased good afternoon and welcome to gbc news so previously or some few minutes ago i saw you washing your face or drinking the water why were you drinking the water was it safe I it you tasted it how, how did it feel like uh, it's heavy heavy with what it's dirty okay you're a fisherman so i can see hmm. that you caught some fish oh this is dead this is what you caught how many i can count one two three four five six seven is that how many you catch every time oh uh, no so would you say that the dirty water the dirty water what does it affect how many you catch every time mm, explain to me how how it has reduced so between the first five years when you started fishing and now, how would you say that the fishing is like? Um, do you get were you getting more fish then when you come here than now? That's my before. How do you feel just catching seven when we used to you used to catch like half of the boats before? Any appeal you want to make to government or any authority who should improve the quality of the water, take out the pollution so, so that you can catch as much fish as you used to. So also with me here is the chairman of the Ghana Journalists Association in the Western region. Hello, Desmond. His name is actually Desmond Kujo. Hello, Desmond. Hello. 
So this month, you've been in this community for how long? Oh, more than 20 years in the region. In the region, actually. And you visited the Shama community and the Angla uh, people. A lot of communities are uh, impacted by the activities of illegal miners. Mm -hmm. and, but this particular community, how bad is it over the years? How bad has it become over the years? Well, this is the estuary. You know, uh, people used to come, depend on, because it's called the estuary in the sea, so it depend on the raw water from the pra as a source of livelihood. They drink it, use it to bath, they fish in the river, everything. But with all sorts of gambling, see, and the pollution of the water, rather they cannot take advantage of it to fish. We also heard people in this community say that they have made a number of um, reports or letters, written a number of letters to the district assemblies to try and um, bring in or put in place some measures to stop this, um, this galamsey and how polluted the water is. As GJ in the community, what have you also been doing to support people in this community? You know, this community, they cannot say anything. This issue is beyond the assembly or the chief executive. The media was part of it. We had the media coalition of, uh, against Kalamsi. We made st countless stories. If you go to Radio Shama, they do a lot of stories. Almost all the Radio is in media houses. Lots of stories on Kalamsi. We've been to the hinterland, Wasei Kropo, and the Zuma areas where Kalamsi is heavily undertaken. We've done everything that we are supposed to do, but we don't have the power. You've created the awareness. The people in the community and that community know that the river is polluted. Fish that they take from the river is a poison, but they have no option, they have no choice. So the only slice of the government, those are the power to stop the galamsey. If we cannot do it, we just advocate. Well, as you said, the power lies with the authorities to end galamsey or to, to show some political will to make decisive actions to end galamsey.